Well, good day, YouTube. It's been a while. I'm Jim. Little shop on the prairie. Uh, as you saw, I had a bent. I, I upgraded my shop smith to a Power Pro. This is the first project I've done on the Power Pro. And uh, I'll tell you, um, I'm in love with it. It's great. Um, that bench, the wood was totally shot on it. So I had to redo all the parts. So I cut this out with a bandsaw with the Power Pro. Went real nice and smooth. Put it into router mode and uh, put a half inch router over here, eighth inch on this side. And uh, the router went through this white oak just fine. Uh, I was concerned, but it worked good. I uh, started out with white oak, rough sawn white oak uh, that I got at the sawmill. And uh, the, I did all of the dimensioning and everything with the shopsmith. So I love my shopsmith. Did I tell you that? Uh, anyway, the router, um, it worked. It wasn't as fast as my router table, um, but I got rid of the router table when I upgraded because I just wanted some more room and I figured the shopsmith would work. And uh, I was really surprised. It, it did just fine. Um, um, time's not money to me. Uh, the good Lord gives me a new day every time and uh, I'm on borrowed time from him. So as long as I do that and uh, believe in him, we're good to go. So, on the router, one thing that did happen, let me show you really quick. I was surprised about this, and I really ended up loving it. Um, the uh, chuck has two set screws, which Shawsmith forgot to send when I first, when I ordered that, and it took him a week to get me the set screws. Um, but it's nice to be able to just set everything up like this, instead of doing the two wrench thing on my uh, router table. And... Um, the size of the set screws here matched the size of the bearing Allen, Allen screw on my router bits. So, I don't know if Shopsmith planned that or not. It was good thinking if they did, and if it was a mistake, it was a great mistake for me because um, my, I've got the Allen wrench in with my bits in the little box, so when I go to change out a bit, I've got the available Allen key. Uh, ready to go. So I really like that about the shopsmith. And then of course uh, when you're in router mode, I've got the double tilt of course, and when you're in router mode it's kind of nice just to crank the handle to get the get the bit right to where you want to. I can eyeball it and, uh, a lot easier than my other table because my, my uh, stationary table was only like about three feet tall so I have to bend over, bend down with my knees and almost get on the ground to see it. But with the shopsmith, you know, well, I'm able to adjust that height so I've got it working right up here. And I can just kind of peek down and get my level and uh, it's just, to me, it's a lot more handy. So um, I'm loving my shopsmith Power Pro. My first project, I'll try to shoot something when I'm all done, let you know if I run into anything. Um, and maybe some more projects down the road. I don't know, you know. There's not a whole lot of variety on Shopsmith out there in the YouTube world um, that I saw, you know. A lot of uh, instructional stuff, which is important. But I'll, I'll show some projects that will be done with it, too, because that's always fun. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you later. Good morning, YouTube. <clears throat> Jim back back on the uh, bench for my daughter. <clears throat> you ever had a problem with your uh, project not working out right? Well, I stained these things, had them all rounded over, and when I got all done, I really didn't like it. Had some rough edges, so we went ahead and reclaimed the surface, sanded it down to, to, with 220, and now I gotta round over these, and we talked about it before on my Shopsmith uh, Power Pro in uh, router mode, but I really never showed you, so I just went ahead and set it up because I didn't want to bore you. But these are the, the slats now, as you can see, I had them, I had them once done, but it came out just looking horrible. So I'm gonna redo everything. This is the side that you see. This is the bottom. 
So right now I'm going to work on the side that you can see. Um, after playing, my roundover went away because I'm only using an eighth inch roundover bit which is already installed. So I'll show you real quick what happens on this and uh, uh, it's pretty nice. But I didn't even have this thing turned on. Can you believe it? <clears throat> anyway, beautiful weather out here and uh, this shouldn't take very long at all. We're going to come back in and I'll hand sand on this side since you don't see it. Um, I put some spar urethane on because it's going to be outside. It's an outside bench. So um, let's see where we're at here. Oh, we're ready to go. So I love my shopsmith for this simple fact that I can just push the button and I'm ready to go. So we're going to make a little bit of noise and uh, show you one quick router pass. I won't bore you with the rest. We've got to turn on the turn on the dust collection. As you saw there, it didn't really take off anything. The other nice thing about this puppy is the adjustment. Yeah, it a bit dropped down a little bit. So I can just kind of, I don't have to, it's so nice to not have to bend down and use the double wrenches and all that kind of stuff. Just perfect. We'll try one more time here. Good morning. Project done. Almost. I think it came out looking pretty darn good. I've just got to put in a metal brace in the middle of the seat area. Kind of keep it from flexing too much. Yeah. My shopsmith made it happen. There she is. So... This will conclude a project uh, to show you what you can do with the shopsmith. Um, next one, uh, I got. I'm going to make a, uh, a vice, a wood vice for my bench out of the magazine article. So we'll show you that coming up, hopefully. Um, a log slicer because I got some logs I want to slice up. Um, a little bit of turning. So. I'll try to do a few more just so that everybody can understand and see that the projects that can be done 
with the shopsmith um, are quite quite open, so or quite a lot, I should say. I'm not very good at this, you know, but um, yeah, I'm I'm really happy with the way this turned out. This white oak uh, turned out really good, and it's really a heavy bench. So hope my daughter loves it. Lauren, this is for you. Love, Dad. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.